Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly reading. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. If you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. Now personals are on sale for the next few days. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $20 or an hour Zoom reading for $50 and everything that you need to know will be in the description box below. So we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at your week, looking at your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, the challenge between the two of you, and the potential outcome. The overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords. I actually really like this Aquarius. Now, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel with that Seven of Swords energy here, but I, I, I don't mind it too much. Now, Aquarius, I do feel like there is a definite message of proceeding with caution when it comes to this. Uh, the Seven of Swords can be a card of, you know, distrust for obvious reasons, yeah, right? I feel like there's something here that has the potential to have a lot of happiness. I think you could have a future with somebody here. I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. But I do feel like sometimes we can punish new people for past people's mistakes or because we've been through so much you know it's kind of reminding me of the knight of wands you know the knight of wands he is the wounded warrior right he's he keeps going and he keeps fighting and he he keeps he keeps trying he doesn't give up um and that can be a really beautiful energy in certain areas but in other areas um you know we have to look at the fact that he's wounded because he won't stop fighting the war right and sometimes because he's been fighting so much he kind of has his head on the swivel Right? He's always looking and always expecting the worst case scenario. He's always on edge, on guard, um, because he's been through so much. I kind of feel that here. I feel like you guys have been through something, um, something pretty emotionally traumatic, something painful. And because of that, I think you're a little bit on edge. I think you kind of are going into something and expecting the worst. And I think that, that you're being really cautioned with that, okay? Because I, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. Um, but you have this forever changed energy. So I do. I feel like whatever you went through, it has kind of caused a little bit of a trauma response. And it's, you know, we can't help the things that happen to us, but we can help whether we choose to heal it or not. We choose to work on things or just be aware of it. Sometimes awareness is everything. Being able to look at a situation and see, okay, am I feeling like this? because this person has given me a reason to, or is it because of my past? Sometimes just bringing awareness to that situation can be um, everything. But I think there's something amazing here. I think you guys have been really focused on yourselves, on getting yourselves to a solid place. You have the Two of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is independent, very solid, stable, good on their own goal oriented just really having themselves together and the two of wands talks about leaving something behind and going in a new direction i feel like that's what you've done i think you've left something that was very painful and difficult behind to focus on yourself and i think you've gotten yourself to a really good space i also feel like that's causing you to be a little bit protective of your peace right it was hard fought and sorely won it took a lot to get you to this space that you're in and I think you're just feeling a little bit protective of it and I don't necessarily feel like that's a bad thing as long as you're not um you know allowing it to hold you back in any way and here you have this four of wands Aquarius you have this four of wands energy for the person how they're feeling right I really like this. This is somebody who is wanting to step through a portal with you. They're wanting to go spend time with you, celebrate. This could definitely be um, something that has like long-term potential, even potential marriage here. It could be twin flame energy. Some of you guys could be connecting with a twin flame or with a soulmate partner, just a, a very strong soulmate energy. Get the four of wands and the lovers right next to each other. I think that you're going to experience a major turnaround in your love life. Um, this is beautiful. It's a level up. 
I do. I feel like it's a level up. I think this is a higher level of commitment. You also have the Ten of Pentacles here for their actions. So this is somebody who knows what they want for the long term. This is somebody who is wanting something long-term, stable, permanent, family. Um, and there's going to be a very strong connection between the two of you. And I feel like a lot of uh, attraction here as well. The challenge is the Ace of Wands, just getting something off the ground, being open to something new in the first place. And then you have the Temperance Spirit saying, just take your time. You know, the Temperance is a card of divine guidance. It's a card of, um, you know, it can be a card of meant to be type energy. I also feel like you're being guided, you're being watched over, you're being protected as you go into this new beginning here. Okay, you're not going into it by yourself. But the temperance is a card of patience. It, it talks about taking your time. It talks about doing things in moderation, you know, slowly and in, in, in balance, right, in harmony. So don't be afraid to take your time. I do feel like it is going to take some adjustment to feel like you have your feet on the ground when you're moving into this but this looks amazing and i feel like spirit just does not want you to uh, mess up a really beautiful thing here somebody is coming in for you and they have beautiful beautiful intentions beautiful energy wow the ace of cups just fell out i mean i there's really not even a lot to clarify here because it's just it's just all so amazing the four of wands again you can end up living with this person or marrying this person for some of you guys the signs that i'm seeing you have aries you have gemini you have virgo here a couple of times you have aries here a couple of times you also have sagittarius you have fire and water okay so Leo and Sagittarius as well, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, those are the signs I'm seeing. But it could be any. You do have Aries here quite a few times, though. Um, so that could be significant for you guys in some way. But that is what I have for you guys. Expect you guys to be meeting a really, really beautiful, amazing connection that has a lot of potential. This is definitely a soulmate. Um, I really like this for you guys, okay? But that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.